music is a form of communication. It's not a means that allows and enables us to tell, but to convey. The way it translates itself in the space, in the architecture, this allows for a, a very different way of building space and time. My name is Anri Sala. I'm an artist who works with the potential of where different mediums come together and where they do encounter the viewer and the listener. In time no longer, there is this turntable that is floating in zero gravity in the interior of the International Space Station. Under the mercy of the physical laws of zero gravity, the stylus cannot play continuously. It takes off to only land again, but play the vinyl at another uh, moment. What we're listening is uh, a movement from Quartet of the End of Times of Messiaen, which was uh, written in conditions of captivity. Messiaen was a prisoner of war. I was particularly interested in this piece of music because I wanted it to become the soundtrack of an intention, which would have been the first recording in space of a musical instrument. That would have been played, performed and recorded by Ron McNair, who was one of the first uh, Afro-American astronauts, but also a professional musician, who would have recorded with his saxophone during one of their missions. Unfortunately, that was the mission of the, of the Challenger, where the ship explodes shortly after the takeoff. I was interested to find what could have been, what would be the sound of this intention, and this is what brought me back to the history of Messiaen and to the history of the Quartet for the End of Times, and particularly the piece called The Abyss of the Birds, which is a solo for a clarinet, but which in time no longer is represented as a combination between a clarinet and the saxophone. The saxophone, a hint to Ron McNair, is ghosting the, the sounds of a clarinet as the stylus tries to play on the vinyl. These were drawings which were made during this period of exploration, exploitation, where during these travels, the, the European, they would take notice of new species. I'm particularly interested in how the frame imposes itself on the anatomy of the species that be, is being represented. Sometimes you have a, a, a fish or another species that needs to bend so that can, it can fit into this frame. And I just oppose it with a drawing that I do myself of a, of, a, of a country, of a nation, of a geopolitical notion that would need to bend to, to fit within the same frame. And, and this bending produces imaginary conflicts. I'm interested in this moment when a sculpture becomes a film or a symphony becomes a video or when a symphony could also become a, a tool for survival in a given context. In the, the auditorium here is 1395 days without red, a film shot in Sarajevo that somehow makes one relieve what, what it meant to cross the city during the, the longest modern siege. People would cross the city and at every crossing of the soon to become known the, the Sniper's Alley, their lives were continuously at risk. The main character is crossing the city while trying to, to, to prepare herself for a rehearsal that, that she will attend of the Philharmonic Orchestra of Sarajevo. Something which is happening in 1992, 1995 in, in Sarajevo impacts the very tempi of the, of the pathetic, Tchaikovsky's symphony. The tempi of the times where we live, they meet the tempi of the times from the past, but eventually also the unknown yet tempi of how the future is, is coming to us. I like this idea that an exhibition, how I think about it, becomes like instrumental in the sense of how work can play the space. In time no longer, we remix the film here in the space to take into account the very specific acoustics of the, of the cylinder, of the, of the rotonda and of a very high uh, cupola. There is this just a position of elliptic imaginations of the universe, of the cosmos, of the world, of exploring and exploiting that world, but also one level lower, in this sort of freeze that becomes again about 
exploration of space, with the acrobatic elements within the film, the sound, the light, it's just about wanting to enhance even more the feeling that starts slowly going down more into, into the stomach. And at best, it, pr it can produce a moment of, not necessarily of an, a weightlessness for the public, but a, a moment of loss of equilibrium, or at least a moment where we question the daily balance that we wake up with.